Representing America, give it up for Long Island Jump! Now I just soak in this in. Right now, and I also really appreciated that Aito was seemed to be really enjoying himself soaking in the crowd as well. He was in the alternate costume Goichi for a second there, <laughs> but then put on the default costume and came back out. That's right. You guys will see that DLC later, but <laughs> it's Li Joe up to the stage. And you saw his New York friend, uh, Mr. IFC Yipes, there welcome him onto the stage. Li Joe representing the United States here at the grand stage at the Mandalay Bay of Evolution 2016. You know the crowd is going to be behind him. You know they're going to be cheering every oh, single time. Oh, did you see? He way wagged him over and said, come on now. He <laughs> was like, let's get to this now. Let's, let's get to this. Let's slow down. They both seem excited to be there, though. This is Evo, of course. The stage, incredible. I cannot <laughs> wait to see this. Like we mentioned, two sort of scrambly kind of players. Mm -hmm. They excel in the scramble. They like to make things fast. Uh, they both play at such incredible speed, so we'll see how it goes. You know, Nash, you don't typically think of him as that kind of character, right? You think of right. movement, but nothing too dangerous. But Joe, he likes to get in there and uh, just throw down. Yeah, and of course, we already saw two Nashes earlier with Infiltration and uh, Yukadon. Right. And, Na and of course, L.I. Joe bringing that character in there. You know, it's interesting because Nash was one of those characters that early on everyone was like, wow, Infiltration's winning with him. He must be really good. And then all of a sudden it was like, well, no one else is really doing that well with this character. Right. It's all about Chun Li and, and Ryu and Ken. You know, these are obviously the best guys in the Kali. And then, lo and behold, three Nashes here in top eight. You know, Despite whether the character is good or not, he has such a solid tool set where mm -hmm. if you play well, you can beat any character. Yeah. Right? And you can mm -hmm. beat any player. You just have to be on point. Your defense has to be solid. And when you get the offense, you got to make it count. <laughs> Love the fist bump there. Love the uh, respect between the two players going up against each other. And as we said, it is going to be Li Joe, of course, using Nash and Ata using Ken. Ken, of course, you're going to expect him to try to get a lot of rush down and Nash, not, you know, like you said, not a huge damage all at once character if he doesn't have the suit, the critical art all right. ready to go. Very much, as we saw earlier, just kind of a scrambly hit you, do little bits of damage yeah, here Yeah, hit there. and run fighter. He's going to get a lot of his damage from being a wall, frustrating as a opponent. Ken, tons of damage, Fight. tons of corner carry, lots of offense. You'll notice wow, the <laughs> jump at the start from Joe. But he didn't believe that it was going to hit, so he didn't have the combo afterwards, unfortunately. One thing you got to watch for Ken is that dash and that run. Unsafe to do in there, but it's just so quick, so t uh, difficult to deal with all the offensive options of Ken at once. And when you mix it up like Eita does between jump regular, jump Tatsu, which he already has done, dash, it's just so tough to, to cover all the options that you can see it. Where Ken wants you to be, just in the corner, already there. Okay, Joe punishes the throw and gets the back throw, so now he switched the corner position. But well, puts himself right back in there. The block. Oh, okay. You see, Joe is respecting uppercut early for Meza. He knows that that's the kind of style he likes to do. He's, he's another solid hit from doing this. Back Ooh. to the corner. And another throw. What's it going to be? Overhead. Great work from Meza. Yeah. Textbook. Love the back throw back to the corner. That was great work. Knowledge of where he was on screen. Yeah, you can see how they were both fighting for that corner position. Both of them doing back throws all day. 
Yeah, Joe putting himself back in the corner for offenses. That's his kind of style. He doesn't mind taking those kind of risks. And he's using a lot of his meter right now for the anti-airs, but that's fine because you want to keep Ken out of there. Keeping Ken out is one of the most important things, and just falling victim to that run cancel again. Run cancel not safe. There's the air to air, but Aina just right back in close to stun. One more will be it. Okay, gets out of there. Joe finds his way out. Still lots of stun and a deficit, but at least no longer in the corner. Joe oh, what a whip punish. What a whip punish. And now he's got a full meter. So one hit could lead to a lot of damage and a potential comeback. But a Love great uppercut. Yeah. Joe still sitting on that critical. Man, if that had been... Oh, he got up. That was an autocorrect for sure. He dashed yeah. under. Probably tried to hit Fierce. Just got the uh, tragedy assault on the other side. That'll happen. All right, so Ata taking game one. Again, this is loser side of the bracket here. So these players had already been sent to losers or earlier in the tournament. Fight. Loss will mean that they are eliminated from this tournament. Early confirms from Ata. You see that two hit target combo. I love it. There's the punish on the run. You got to have that crush counter. It's going to be big for Joe. He has offense, he keeps it up. And just back to the zoning. It's like we said, a little bit of scrambling, kind of a very good balance between offense and defense. It's what you're going to see a lot from Nash, and he's going to, oh, stay to the front. Great block from Ata, but here comes LFJ, who gets a crouch cutter sweep. Ata waking up with the uppercut, cancel on the B trigger, chasing him down for the throw. And now a couple more. Oh, Joe's out of there. Spent the, the EX. Oh, no EX. Scythe. That didn't have the answer on time. Duck, and he could have got the punish, but it was just too far. Wake Joe's up the staying alive. Punch. Throw, and that's throw. gonna be it. Safest option. It's a just really walked up, and Joe didn't believe the throw was coming. Yeah, I mean, one of the things you know, we see a lot of the Asian players, you know, infiltration Japanese players using the jump back OS throw tech. You know, sometimes I, I feel like that's missing from a lot of the US players' game. Yeah, not implemented as often. There's the confirm from Joe, double jab, spins the bar. 50% lead for him early, and you see Ada insistent on jumping. He'll do jump empty, jump with the button, or jump with Tatsu, and switching up between those options makes it so tough to answer here. Huge oh, he's going to be able to get Joe. the punish on that. Yeah, decides not to spend meter. Just going for chip as much as he can. Oh, Trigger no. Back to the corner again. Corner of a great defense block. B triggers. A B reversal's out of there. No stuff on Tatsu, but safe. Yeah, Joe. Oh, but the, the knee. Amazing. The knee catching Ada off guard. And Joe on the board. What a round. Good work to him. That was, that was a lovely spacing just to know that that was going to be... Good. Full critical R for both players. Anti air no good because of the top two. So yep. tough to deal with. And you know, Joe is sitting on him here. He's showing him. And there oh, it is. He's going to spend it right on the critical R. But again, you know, he's going to have a lightly here, but Ada sitting on a full meter as well. So still pretty tied right now between the two players. I like that Joe didn't go in too hard after that. Just the boom into the side. Didn't commit to hard offense. And you'll see that Ada will punish or uh, go in with uppercuts and stuff like that. B reversal oh. out to escape, but oh man, Ada's going to have corner position against Ken. This is going to be a rough series for Joe to deal with. Good blocks and a challenge on that target combo. What an autocorrect uppercut. Other side, but okay, didn't get the confirmed Joe. Punishing the run. No. Not out of this just yet. Will there be a jump from Aita? You know it's got to come eventually. No confirm. That could have been critical art. Right, absorbing some of that to get. Oh, oh, what an anti air. Aita not out of it yet. Oh, once again. The run, oh, he got he the punish. He put Joe it the ties it up. Into the heavy kick EX side, and he takes his first game. He ties it up 1-1. One, one. Uh, <laughs> Oh man. He was like, sit back down. Yeah, We've got some more down. games We've to go. got some Street Fighter to play. <laughs> I'm trying to hit some buttons. So Joe puts himself on the board, punishes the run, and you know, he's been pretty consistent about that so far. Uh, and if Eita sees that, then that's when he can start switching things up and going for other options. All right, Joe's the dashing up, getting throw, but crush counter sweep. Ada gonna use that to set up the cross up, and then just gets the frame track. Confirm. In the front, Ada thought he was going to the other side because, you know, that's what Asha tried to do to escape the corner. Uh, uppercut. Oh, Ooh, dash to the other side. Under, and and that's a confirm. On the roundhouse, great confirm. Too far for that. Oh, Crush counter. And if he spends far, it's going to be a lot of damage. Not Doesn't. Quite enough. Yeah. One more will do it for Joe. Oh, out of the range of the knee, he can get the jump with the uppercut. Damage now from Ken, trying to get in there. Out of oh. there, great block from Ata. Joe not out of it. The anti-air caught oh, but he, he came out with the button. He came out with the button. Last time he thought he was at a safe distance, so he didn't do anything. And Ata caught him with that EX Tatsu. But this time he was like, you know what, you're going to try it again. I'm hitting the button. And if Ata had done uppercut instead, he would have beat it clean. The jump oh. in from Joe is huge. Does he have a read now? 
it's been a couple of times. Moonsault oh, like immediately, yeah. Oh, great uppercut from Ada. Challenge. But there we go. That crouch jab, light sight. That's what got him in the top eight against Kazunoko. It's going to be pressure. This time he does go for the pressure. Lands the throw. Joe with a big lead. Ada got to make something happen now. No meter, though, which means it's going to be tough for Joe to end here. He doesn't have the EX sight. Dash forward, get that low medium kick, dash back. In and out style from. Oh, he's out of there. The chase down from inside, but Joe can't get the punish. But, but there's the call. Oh, it's not enough. He needs one more. He and jumps he over the fireball. Joe up 2 1 over Aza from Japan. And there you see Joe's father there watching him, cheering on his boy here at Evolution. The lone American up 2 1 now. And the calmness right now on Joe's face. Round and Aza as well. He doesn't look too shook. Right. Opens with Scythe. It's a, it's a great starter. And block. You see Joe will just yeah. hang out and block because he doesn't want to risk the uppercut. Great confirm and he gets the Scythe combo. Jump over but the uppercut from Ada. Yeah, yeah had the autocorrect on deck. Yeah, even though Joe is up 2-1, Ada's really been on point with some of those anti-airs. And Joe escapes the corner, finds himself the confirm, gets in with the knee. And there is no uppercut. Maybe Ada just not ready for it now. Oh, he yeah, he missed it, it again. He tried it but it didn't work. And Oh, you see the backdash? He was trying to look for V-reversal. That's what he expected, and Joe didn't go for it this time. So keeps himself safe to EX, and Joe was out of there, but back in. He tried to be tricky and go into the air and challenge him. Nice. Love the air-to-air -air from Joe. Another one, oh, he gets the punish, but it's not enough. He could have spent EX. The absorb. He's in a great position. He could just do that. Oh, oh he a risk. That I mean, that's how he won and the that's last round. Do it. One more. Joe oh. got hit. Double low short. Yeah, maybe stood up. Maybe tried to button. Who knows? But a round for Aza. Maybe even try to view reversal and accidentally Round stood up or something, but in any case, cock for him. Whoa, Ada, taking you, that first round. You know that jump for Joe has worked out a lot of these times. He's really had a great read on when there's going to be projectiles. Oh, that was so far that he punched that fireball. Yeah, hit the hurt box of the fireball on startup. Great work for him. Patient defense from Joe. No ants here, though. And again, the problem position again. Joe trapped in the corner. Beautiful forward dash to get out of there. Gets the throw. Was, that wasn't a counter hit. Oh, and he waited for the uppercut again, and Aza just he understood that that's what Joe's been going for so often. But you oh. made it the throw. It's going to be critical, Art. Now a lead for Joe. Still got to close out this round if he wants to get this game. Just a tiny bit of life left, but you know, Ken can do so much damage so quickly. You are not out of the waters in any shape or form. But he's gonna get the round just like that, Joe. Match point on Aza from Japan. We'll see if he can do it. Loser of this is sent out of the tournament. Ada now down. Oh, what a read from Joe! Start from the tragedy of something. And you know, Ada almost had critical art. Now because of that, Joe keeps up the offense. Great under. Okay. Yeah, didn't combo was a bit too far. I think he understood. He knew that. Yeah. And he didn't accidentally go into it. Great uppercut from Ada. Ada chases him down. Gets a throw. Now Ada has him in the corner. There's the tech. Great work. Dash up from Joe. Other side, he gets under, and now Joe can escape, although crush counter. Gets the crush counter and the uppercut confirmed. Goes in there with the V-trigger. A little too far for that low point fireball to connect. Great lock on the cross up Joe's Joe. sitting on a lot of meter as well as V-trigger. You gotta be careful if you're Ada. Oh man, he switched the big risk on the way in. Yeah, just trying to get in. Maybe thought Joe was gonna throw a fireball. Joe, one critical arm from taking this. Gotta be wary of the trigger. Ooh, and the air. And then dashes into the fireball. In the front, oh, he oh, got him! He spreads the critical He's arc, going And Joe! Arc. Joe He's got it. He's going to advance. No, he got it just at the end, and Li Joe takes it. He lives in the tournament. The lone American representative takes out Ada from Japan. Li Joe moving on and loser side bracket, taking out Ada from Japan. And there you see Joe. You see the kind of person that he is. Even at the same time, congratulating Ada and letting you know, trying to give some shine to Ada as Showing well. Showing that respect as competitors, making top eight in Evo. It's such a journey, it's such a task, and anybody who's done it, truly an incredible player. You hear the audience chanting USA for one L.I. Joe, Long Island Joe, but you, also, you have to give it up to Ada from Japan. Such an excellent performance to make top eight in the tournament. So many strong competitors he beat on the way here. Yeah, it's not another one of those players that, you know, it's kind of slipped through the cracks. A lot of people didn't have them on their on their fantasy brackets, you know, and so, and here's 